This is Twit. We didn't really talk about this, but I don't even, I'm not even sure when this was announced. A month or so ago, Lenovo announced something called the Think Phone, right? Which was a Think Pad styled smartphone with a red button because, you know, ThinkPad. And it's an Android handset, as you would imagine. But what they talked about at the time was some Microsoft partnership that was going to lead to some interesting Microsoft 365 slash Windows 365 experiences. And one of them, has they've just kind of come clean on this. This is now available. It's, it's got an awkward name. It's all caps. Enhanced Windows 365 app experience for Android. And what this is, is it's not an app. It's something that gets integrated into the operating system. It's only available on the Think phone for now, but it is coming to other Android phone makers. And what the what this phone does is what a lot of phones have done in the past, right? The Samsung flagships do this. The Windows phone uh, phones used to do this where you can connect it to a USB-C dock. Or these days, it would be like a, a display that has a USB-C dock in it, and then a keyboard and a mouse. And then you get this full screen experience, and you can use it sort of like a computer. The, the way that Samsung does it is they have a, an environment called Dex that they've created that's separate from Android that has nothing to do with Android. The way that Microsoft did it back in the day was actually pretty cool, although it didn't last, which was they also had their own desktop environment because UWP apps at the time would work between Windows 8 or 10 or whatever it was, and Windows Phone would be the same app. So if you use the app on the phone, you get the phone app. If you use it on a big screen, you get the kind of full screen, you know, desktop style app. Um, that lasted about two seconds, but it was a good idea. <laughs> um, so for this thing, Microsoft 365, of course, is that cloud PC concept. This is Microsoft's Windows desktop in the cloud as a service. And what that means is we're basically getting this kind of DeX style uh, expanded desktop experience over a wire. But you're connecting what you're running is not on the phone. It's you're running something that's up in the cloud. And it's I like the that. screen. Yeah. Um, there, there, are, there are similarities between what Microsoft and Samsung did and this in that you can keep using the phone as a phone, right? You've got all your phone stuff going on there. If you want to, you can use the phone as a trackpad, right? If you don't have a keyboard, uh, you can also use the on-screen keyboard if you want that kind of thing. Um, but it's, it's, it's just a front end for Windows 365. So the bigger thing I, to me is that you're carrying your identity in the phone into yeah, a virtual and passing it through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we, we've talked about this for ages, this idea of I want to use lots of different compute, mm -hmm. but I don't, ha I don't want to have to go get my stuff. Yeah. I, so I, the, I, the idea that the phone becomes the proxy for your identity provides all that identity information to a virtual machine that it has access to the rest of your M365 resources. Like that's a good idea, a, a way to temporarily use a computer. And then as soon as you take the phone away, it, that VM disappears. Right. I, I, years ago, and I, I don't remember what version of anything it was. It may have been actually Jerry Moskowitz. Even <laughs> interestingly, oh. you just mentioned this, but somebody showed me, or somebody was doing something on a phone a million years ago, and it was tiny. And I was like, "What's going on here?" And they were accessing via remote desktop their Windows Server somewhere. Right. And I was like, um, "Because the screen, you know, it's like this tiny little thing, and you can uh, zoom in on it." Kids. Just because I can do this doesn't and I, mean, well, that's I why I said, do. I said, what are you doing? Like, what is the point of this? And it's like, look, obviously this is not the greatest way to do this, but at least I can do this. And that's better than not being able to do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> if something goes wrong, I want to, you know, whatever it might be, I want to reboot the server or whatever. Like RDP everywhere. Yeah. But this solution is actually much more interesting, right? Because it's going to be, you know, lit literal uh, Windows 11 desktop experience right yeah. on a big screen. Well, um, also as much compute as you need, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, bandwidth big, limited, obviously, but. Uh, we'll see. I, I, I always felt like uh, th there was a dream there that could be realized where you carried a phone around and you sat down at a, uh, uh, on a plane, put the phone down and the screen came on. It was your stuff and you did whatever you want. Yeah. And you went to work and you put your phone down and the big screen came on and the keyboard and mouse got work. Like yeah. I always sort of believed in that idea. Um, and then I've watched some kind of crash and burn for various reasons, but, um, you know, actually well, I mean, it could, yeah, it, you're totally right. Like this is, it, and it's not so much a bandwidth problem as it's a latency problem. But, you yes. know, it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. comes back to all of the virtual desktop stuff. Right. So, you, right. you're, you're typing on a machine that's nowhere near you. So, mm -hmm. you know, how is that yeah. going to behave? Still but easier this, problem than gaming. Um, yeah. yeah so. Fair. But you know. the fact that you have M365 on your phone, which means you have M365 console that's inherently in the mm -hmm. cloud. And now mm -hmm. you can ha harness a, a virtual machine, essentially a virtual desktop, to provide additional access to that. Right. Like it, it solves a ton of problems for doing that. Like yeah. now think of this from a hot desk office perspective. Right. 
right? Right. We, we used to have a bunch of other ways to pull your profile into different machines for hot desking. This is a way better way to go about this yep. to the point where maybe you do have a rack of machines in your office uh, that are actually hosting the virtual yeah. machine. Even so in uh, latency. I don't know what happens here. I mean, I, I'm just inventing things now, but yeah. I, I, having worked in the education space, I mean, the notion of wiping out a classroom of PCs back in the day yeah. after a class left was a nightmare. And uh, Chromebooks do a little, you know, do a better job of that, obviously. But like some central, there's something where it's like, you know, kids are just walking in with their phone, like, boop, you're in, oh, boop, you're yep. out. And then you you're not wiping anything. That thing is just a dumb terminal, essentially, right? Uh, well, and now you'd have the cloud, you, but you'd have this, I mean, Microsoft's been trying to find applications for Win 365 really hard for a long time. Yeah. The idea of having a larger compute resource, but the identity is contextualized on the phone. You can run it in the cloud or you could run it on-prem, maybe in a machine that's managed by Microsoft effectively. Like this might be exactly the product for the post-pandemic office where everybody's hot desking. Yeah. Yeah. Now, of course, it has to. Uh, this is super early days. So um, <laughs> who just asked me if I remembered Windows? Can Come on. Hmm. What's the book about this? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I remember it. <laughs> Anywho. Um I mentioned it. I didn't say the name of it, but yeah, uh, yeah I, 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 this makes sense to me. The, the issue is uh, it's only on one phone, right? Um, I guess the way they've decided to deploy this is it's, it, I guess an app is not going to work. So, you know, they have to work with handset uh, makers. We know that Microsoft has a big uh, partnership with Samsung. Uh, I would expect it to come there as well. Um, so we'll see. It's a good idea. And we'll see. I, I don't even know what the uptake is on. Microsoft or Windows 365 either, right? I mean, uh, this may be a, a good solution for a product no one's using yet, you know, but it's early days. Hey, we should talk Linux. It's the operating system that runs the internet, a bunch of game consoles, cell phones, and maybe even the machine on your desk. But you already knew all that. What you may not know is that TwitNow has a show dedicated to it, the Untitled Linux Show. Whether you're a Linux pro, a burgeoning sysadmin, man, or just curious what the big deal is, you should join us on the Club Twit Discord every Saturday afternoon for news, analysis, and tips to sharpen your Linux skills. And then make sure you subscribe to the Club Twit exclusive Untitled Linux Show. Wait, you're not a Club Twit member yet? Well, go to twit.tv slash club twit and sign up. Hope to see you there.